Solving a linear inequality with multiple occurrences of the variable problem type 1. Solve the inequality for y. Simplify your answer as much as possible. So um, I'm going to rewrite this. 5 minus 8y is greater than or equal to 11 minus 6y. Now I'm going to go about solving this exactly as if it were an equation. The only difference with inequalities is if I multiply or divide by a negative number, I have to flip my inequality sign. So the first thing I want to do is check, look at each side separately, and just check and make sure that they're completely simplified. And here I have two terms, a variable term and a constant term. They're not like terms. I can't combine anything. I don't have any parentheses to distribute. So this is as simplified as it's going to get. Over on this side, same situation. One variable term, one constant term. They're not like terms. There's no parentheses to distribute. So I'm completely simplified on each side. So I can go ahead and start my solving process here. Since I have variable terms on both sides, I want to keep the variable term on the left. So I need to zero this one out right here. I don't want variable terms on both sides. So I'm going to add 6y to both sides so that this one zeroes out. And then when I simplify, I get 5 minus 2y, negative 8 plus 6 is negative 2, is greater than or equal to 11. Now I have only one variable term and it's on the left. But I have two constant terms, one on each side still. And I only want constant terms on the right. So I need to get rid of that one or zero it out. So this is positive 5 right now. The opposite is to add a negative 5 or subtract 5. So that one zeroes out and eliminates. And when I simplify, I have negative 2y greater than or equal to 6. My last step is to eliminate the coefficient that's attached or multiplied directly to the variable. So this is negative 2 times y. The opposite of timesing by negative 2 is dividing by negative 2. So I'm going to do that to both sides. Now, here I did not flip my sign because I wasn't multiplying or dividing by a negative number. I was subtracting or I was adding a negative number, not multiplying or dividing. So I left my sign the same. But here, I'm dividing by a negative number. So uh, I need to flip my sign when I simplify. 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So my final answer is y is less than or equal to negative 3.